Hey everyone, Tim Taylor here. Interconnection of renewables through transmission systems is not a simple task, and it takes years to get a project through the application step, the different technical studies that are in the study process, and then through the final construction and commissioning work. And there are a number of different transmission organizations involved, not to mention a bit of an alphabet soup as to what those organizations are called. So let's take a quick look at some of the primary organizations involved in the renewables interconnection to transmission. Come on. The first organization I want to mention is FERC, headquartered in Washington, D.C. FERC stands for Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, and it does just what it name says. It regulates rates and services for electric transmission and interstate commerce. Now, this includes RTOs and ISOs, which we'll get to in just a minute, but also other organizations that are not part of an RTO and ISO who also have interstate transmission, and that could be investor-owned utilities and government agencies. FERC not only regulates the transmission infrastructure itself, also electric wholesale power sales in interstate commerce. Now, a primary mechanism by which FERC regulates interstate transmission is through the issuing of orders. And over the years, it has issued a lot of orders that restructured the electric power industry, and it is still actively doing so. One of the latest was FERC Order 2023 which overhauled the interconnection process, very important to renewables. This was issued in July of 2023, and then it was affirmed and clarified in March 2024 with FERC Order 2023-A. Now, you may be saying, well, Tim, that's all well and good about FERC, but what about this other organization that I hear about called NERC? So NERC, the North American Electric Reliability Corporation, it's headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia, um, and it was created in response to the Northeast blackout of 1965, just two years after I was born and probably decades before some of you were born. NERC covers the U.S. and Canada, and thus its name includes North American and National. It is a nonprofit, non governmental corporation. Thus, its name includes corporation and not commission. So, NERC establishes and enforces reliability standards. The key word there being reliability for the bulk power and electric system. And that is its whole mission. So, given that renewables and inverter based resources are relatively new and their behavior on the grid, is still being understood, a NERC is very active in developing reliability guidelines and standards around renewables. And if you are a developer or owner, it's best to know these standards because NERC can take enforcement actions, including monetary penalties, sanctions, and mitigation actions. The last types of organizations I'd like to mention are the ISOs and RTOs. ISO meaning independent system operator, RTO meaning a regional transmission operator. For most purposes, these two types of organizations, they are the same with very minor differences. There are seven ISO RTOs in the U.S., plus there are two more in Canada that are not shown here. The purpose of ISO RTOs are regional electric grid operation monitoring and management, competitive wholesale market administration. So they run the markets and they ensure non-discriminatory access to the transmission grid, both by customers and suppliers. Um, other responsibilities include dispatch to keep the supply and demand in balance and regional planning and reliability. ISO's RTOs cover about two-thirds of the electric customers in the U.S. The other one-third is covered by other transmission organizations not part of an ISO RTO. And these include different investor-owned utilities and government agencies. 
The areas not served by ISO's RTOs include the Northwest and the Southeast in the United States. And that's all I've got for today. If you want to know more about electric transmission and interconnection of solar PV to transmission, I've got two courses on heatspring.com that uh, you can go to by clicking on the QR code here. Heat, Heatspring is a, a wonderful resource for anyone that's involved in the clean energy business and have a whole range of courses that you can take. Thanks for watching.